This is it. This is the start of the Biblimin track. And the waggle. And that is the first trail marker. Ready to go. Finally leaving the suburbs and starting to head down. Good morning! It is day one! I am finally on my way. Uh, two days ago I left New Zealand, four airports, 22 hours from Dunedin, Wellington, Auckland, Melbourne and then into Perth. And then yesterday I went shopping and finished packing and getting everything ready. And then early start today, 9 o'clock at the visitor's centre to sign the hut book and I'm away. So just leaving the town of Kalamunda um, today. It's actually going to be quite a hilly day. I am going to be dropping down. I think it's dropping down about 200 vertical metres and then back up again. And then these climbs are about 100 metres up and down all day. Um, taking it fairly easy today, looking at around 23 kilometres to get to the um, shelter. Uh, so yeah, nice easy day. And yeah, good to be here. And straight away I am seeing glass. <laughs> cool. And lots of flowers today. yellow little round pom pommy type things just uh, stopped and chatted to a lady she said there's a controlled burn up ahead and there's a bit of smoke going over the trail so it'll be an early start to smoke if it's gonna be near where the bibliomen is this is beautiful vegetation definitely very different but uh, lots of bright red berries and bright yellow flowers I know, these aren't berries, these are flowers. Look at these. <laughs> ah, yeah, very, obviously very different to New Zealand and the other trails I've done. Um, closer to Africa than anywhere else, but uh, beautiful. <laughs> oh yeah, it is definitely smoky. I only smelt that once on the PCT, but uh, wow. Lots of birds as we're... Um, Walking along, some I think I saw a um, rainbow lorikeet, a couple of rosellas, galahs, magpies, and a few other brownish ones which I can't recognise. Yeah, gorgeous. I love these little, I'm not sure what they are, <laughs> they are pretty cool. Oh, smoky. Trail marking has been pretty good, showing you where to go, turn off trail. Here's some more flowers. Look at this gorgeous view. Lots of wildflowers on this side. Look at this little one. In the Kalamanda National Park. Heading that way. Friendly local. Stopped and chatted to for a while. Um, he said this area was burnt off last year. So that's why there's um, quite a few flowers coming up. He said it should be a good year for flowers. Right, a few stairs going down. I'm doing the big descent down into the valley um, and starting to get a few rocks coming up now, which is pretty cool. A bit of a rocky area in here. It's gorgeous country. Bit of information about how the track was upgraded. <laughs> a 
love these things. Look at these. <laughs> and still heading down. Starting to get a bit steeper now. <laughs> Look at this. This is what happens when you don't have stairs going down. Descent is well and truly in progress. Following the stream down, even a little waterfall. Look at that. And continuing down the track. <laughs> More neat plants. I'm guessing the stream means that I am at the bottom. <laughs> so that means I now have a big uphill. Might just need to be taking a few uh, photo stops on the way. New flower, these are white ones. That climb wasn't as bad as I was expecting. Um, and now I am heading back down again, down the trail. Still climbing, that wasn't at the top of the hill. That was just a temporary downhill. Still going up and up, but it's not too steep now. Um, relatively gentle gradient, and the scenery makes it worthwhile. top now. Yeah the climb wasn't too bad just after that first steep but it was then just a steady climb. Did get the heart rate going and up to 175 beats per minute which is a combination of the hill and me being very unfit still but uh, recovering fairly quickly and feeling pretty good at the moment. No niggles which is good. Whew. Happy for the shade though it is hot nice we're walking along uh, ridge lines we've got some nice views off to the side every now and again when the vegetation clears just stopped and took my first break um, coming up to two hours now it's nice just sitting there looking around absorbing the sounds and uh, yeah just remembering that I'm back on trail again it's so nice to be back on trail it's funny how quickly I feel like I'm just settled back into trail life again. Very relaxing. Going from in the beautiful wilderness out to a little bit of farmland. Oh, these are cool. Look at that. Yay! Back off the road, back on the track. That wasn't long. It was only a couple of hundred metres. Which isn't too bad, and then back into this beautiful single track again. The trees are all pretty similar size, but every now and again you get big monsters like that one. That wingle marker looks pretty cool on the black bark. What a texture of it, it's gorgeous. It's a shame, beautiful old tree down, bit of a detour around it, gorgeous. It's fire damage. Oh, this looks new. Hey. Out onto a road, and <laughs> trail cafe there, so I might go and fill up some water if I can. Strongly recommend dropping into the cafe here. The coffee was beautiful. It's got some gorgeous food and I met my first trail angel, Michelle. Um, so those that are doing the end-to-enders, she gives them free coffee. Not just cheap coffee, proper flat white. Um, and absolutely lovely lady there. And I also met Helen, who's one of the hut volunteers. And I'll probably see her tomorrow because she's heading to Helena Hut. Um, so yeah, that is the cafe, <laughs> and yeah, two hours, two and a half hours in, and my first trail angel, woohoo, <laughs> okay, um, now it's finding where the track goes, I don't see a marker there, so maybe I keep going, <laughs> there's a marker, it's hiding behind the tree, so from the cafe, <laughs> it's the big road, if 
follow that down. Track is just rolling along, fairly flat, just gentle ups and downs. Different vegetation, we've got these. Oh, still flashes of um, colour from the flowers every now and again. A bit more open up here though. Loving some of these trees, not this beautiful one. <laughs> <laughs> what the fire has done to this tree. There's been um, controlled burns coming through here, which is why it's so open and all well, the trees are black. Track's been pretty smooth. A few odd steps, this um, concretey type stuff, obviously stopping the water damage when it rains. Um, but yeah, track's been pretty smooth apart from those and gently downhill that looks like it's getting a bit steeper down now. I know dropping about 100 vertical meters and then back up again. These little trees starting to flower as well. Look at this beautiful tree. It's huge. This is the turn off to Hewitt's Hill campsite and shelter but uh, I don't need to go there so I'm going to continue on so that means I'm at 10 kilometers and I have been going for three hours um, so it's not bad averaging 3k an hour considering that I stopped at the cafe and I've stopped and chatted with two people as well um, I was hoping to average around 3k an hour so on target just taking it easy considering it is my first day um, so far feeling all right um, right knee every now and again I can just feel it slightly but um, it's not hurting it's just that I notice it uh, pack I had one period after the cafe I started to feel the weight of the pack just on my left shoulder but I tightened my waist belt and the weight of the pack seems to have disappeared so feeling good and enjoying myself I can add a new bird sighting sorry I couldn't get it on video it was the black cockatoos with red under their wings um, beautiful as they fly past been on the road for a while and I think we keep on it for a while but vegetation is pretty sparse so we have a view and that is Mundaring Weir which I will be crossing over um, and that's around the 15 kilometer mark so I've still got a couple of kilometers to get there Ooh, one trouble with the vegetation being so sparse is there is no shade and it is hot you know I was winter in New Zealand down the south so on a sunny day the temperature might get up to around 15 and at the moment temperature's 23 so I'm definitely feeling the difference all right off the road now down onto some single track dropping down to the weir these are pretty <laughs> Missed the trail markers for the first time. I should be going that way and there's an obvious trail marker. But I merely went along this way and went about 20 metres that way and there was an intersection with no sign for I figured that I'd gone wrong. So back to this one and going to Golden Debut. Some of these stairs are a bit big coming down. But ah, oh, look at this. I've got a view. <laughs> Bush, 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 quite some flat slabby rocks down there. This is not the viewpoint yet. And that's the weir, still got a way to go to get to it. And that's the viewpoint. And I'm on my way! <laughs> Back on the road again, dropping down. These trees are, are pretty cool. It's 
So they're just a normal tree and then at the top is the uh, yellow flowers. This is a lovely section of trail. Oh, civilization! There's a tour bus down there. These are beautiful. I can smell them as I'm walking along. Absolutely gorgeous. Hello little bee. The pipeline down there. That's the dam. <laughs> Looking beautiful on a day like today. Can cross here, but the trail it goes down the other side, so we'll see the dam from the base. The signs are taking me this way, so we go over a different bridge and we look up at the dam, which is alright. Yeah, a few different flowers. These ones and some pink ones. It's worth all the stairs coming down to get the view from here. That massive. That is cute. Just want to touch it, but it's Australia, so I won't. It'll probably kill me. <laughs> Don't know what it is. <laughs> the colours moving as it goes along. The only trouble with the scenic route is I have to climb all the stairs and basically climbing to get back up to the top of the weir. So I have more stairs and stairs and stairs. <laughs> I'm at 15k now um, and 4 hours 40 at the moment. So I have another 8k to go. Oh, those stairs were hard work. Feeling a bit tired after that. All right, thankfully I am now following the track this way. Saw some more black cockatoos. These ones didn't have the red on them. Oh, more stairs, more climbing. This is nice. Lots and lots of bees and these uh, flowers and flies. I'm used to styles for fences, but this is a style for a pipe up and over. the way I've come and heading down I and mean, then I'm assuming along the uh, grassy area up there nice old building and dinner and follow the pipeline along ah crossing the road and then back into wilderness get away from the noise of the cars Oh, there's another hole. <laughs> oh, been steadily climbing. Oh, hopefully that's the top. Oh, look at this. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> okay, and looks like I'm starting to head down a little bit. Ooh. So I'm at five and a half hours now. And I'm starting to feel it. Um, I actually did some training for this hike, but uh, I only did um, three weeks and I sort of built up to being able to walk for two hours with eight kgs on my back. And today I've probably got 11 and a half, 12 kgs on my back and much more than two hours. Um, and because I had a long string of injuries, my fitness has just completely disappeared. Previous trails, I didn't do any training, but I had a lot more natural fitness, so that's why I'm feeling it a bit. Um, so, it is <laughs> still another two hours to go, so I'm stopping um, quite tight calves, so stopping and stretching quite a bit, and still it's only um, 14.40 so I've got a lot of time left before it gets dark so I can just take my time Ooh, it's pretty along here coming up to a viewpoint sometime soon but yeah this is lovely love the bark on the street 
Okay, I am at the viewpoint. It is the weir down there. Quite a nice view looking down. Neat big rocks down there as well. And the noise of motorbikes. Glad to get back out into the country. And this is talking about the Nunga Aborigines. Use the river valleys as pathways. Okay, and hey, monsters. <laughs> this is a nice bit of trail. A few rocks to have to go around. Nice single track. Interesting. This is another neat bark. <laughs> back on a road again I'm sure that wasn't even a hundred meters and off the road back on to single track oh big stairs stairs are hard it's late in the day oh, that's a hard turn hard left this is the Perth Hills um, Discovery Centre and that means I am only around 3k from my campsite. Woohoo! Trip with places like this, it's always looking for the next marker. Uh, there it is on the tree. Hey, look at that. I think they call it a wattle here in Australia and New Zealand. We call it a bottle brush. Alright, finally made my way through the big car park to the sign. <laughs> Ooh, this is what the Bipperman track is. Right, on track. There they are. Those are the red tailed black cockatoos. It's a big patch of flowers in there. <laughs> Burn them all. Oh, starting to get a bit tired now. I stopped for quite a while watching those black cockatoos. They uh, stiffened up a little bit after that, but uh, it was worth it to see them. They are pretty cool. Ah, trail is beautiful along here. Oh, there it is. Fall Creek Shelter. And that is six and a half hours to get there. There were two guys here when I arrived, but they were just having a late lunch and they're pushing on to the next hut. So that means I have, at the moment, a hut to myself. So there's a fire pit, and then there's the shelter, and rain tank. There's one rain tank each side. Nice picnic. And then inside the hut, there's bunks, two, four, nice table, six, eight people. Now I'm sure you can squeeze in another four if you need. I think these might be three person. Hopefully there won't be that many tonight. All right, and then this is the hot book. That's the hot book. What's that? That's a campsite register. And so is that. I think I'm going to use that one. So what do we got? Date, start point, end point, duration, overnighting, part of a group, name, gender, age, town, and guides. So it's anything like New Zealand, they're uh, entertaining, though there doesn't seem to be a lot of comments in these. So I'll fill that in and then set myself up for the night. Here's a shelter, I've just finished doing my water. Water's an interesting colour here, but once you filter it it's fine. And that's my setup for the night. That's all my food. <laughs> all ready to go. Hi, I'm Roger and I'm doing the Bibbleman hike uh, 
just for a real change, uh, so different to work. Lovely to get out in nature, and the wildflowers uh, on day one have been absolutely fantastic. So hopefully lots more of that. Cool. <laughs> this is my uh, first shelter mate for night number one. <laughs>